I am standing right now at the confluence between the Rio Grande River and Rio Escondido. This confluence here, where they meet, is the separation between the United States on to my left and Mexico to my right. And just right there is, part, is a point just jutting out. That's the point of first contact of the shadow of the moon on April 8, 2024. When the moon first touches Mexico in the Pacific Ocean, it will cut through and curve through major parts of Mexico and it will leave this part of Mexico and touch there by one second earlier than two other points that will come because of the irregularity of the shadow. At that first second, whoever stands on there will be the first person in the United States of America to see the total eclipse. And then from there, it will take its way, it'll go all the way up, straight through all the states, uh, right on into Canada. So this is a tri-country eclipse uh, going through Mexico, the United States, and uh, Canada. This also will be a great American eclipse because it goes through quite a number of major cities and it's also a long eclipse. It's going to be very dark. It's uh, four minutes and a half seconds whereas in 2017 we had uh, two minutes and uh, 20 seconds and two minutes to 40 seconds and such and varied in, in that range. This is going to be double the darkness, double the width and uh, the shadow will be uh, hundreds uh, the whole border region here so it's going to be quite some day for uh, uh, for for all of us here and those who uh, work the, the border at the, at the Customs Protection and Border Patrol that's going to be a busy day for them to see uh, uh, what potentially could happen but uh, this is uh, quite amazing that we can be here and see this here and I'm, I'm very fortunate uh, to have the cooperation of the Border Patrol such to have this here uh, but that's it that's the point point of first contact in the United States of America Thank you.